Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you are in the world. And this game is called FIFA 98 Road to the World Cup, published by Electronic Arts in 1997. Now it's a game that also came out on the Nintendo 64, the Saturn and Windows, I believe. You take part in a championship or qualifier, so it's me just kicking a ball randomly around a field, because it's my first go on it. But the idea is you must qualify for the World Cup, which was to be held in France. Now, I don't think you get to play the World Cup, you just got to qualify. It's for one to four players this, um, let's just try and sort out what's going on. We have injuries on and off, different styles of play, including arcade mode. Uh, we'll have offside off, I think, as well, we don't want that. Let's have the fouls at normal. Uh, different pitches, that will uh, control the speed of the ball, I think. Clock will do continuous, half length four, what others can do two is a bit tight. We'll just play one game, hopefully I'll draw against a rubbish team so I can score a goal and let's see how this thing plays. We have reviewed other FIFA games but not too many on the Mega Drive. I think um, either FIFA International Soccer I think might be the first one so this might be the second one that we've had a look at. Right. So, let's qualify for the World Cup. There's a spoiler coming up here. The World Cup was won by France in 98. They held it and won it, the show-offs. England last won in 1966, which is, well, a long, long time ago, outside my lifetime, just about. So let's check what um, group we're going to be qualifying from. Let's do Europe. We might as well select England. They can't do any worse under my management than the management there is at the moment. Or well, maybe they do. They, might get, they can do a lot worse, though, under my play. So here's all the teams in Europe. Wales, Ukraine, Turkey. Well, they rate Switzerland to be quite good. And Sweden. Spain looked quite nifty there as well. Slovenia. Hmm. Anyway, we'll pick our team, it'll draw our groups, and then we'll see um, how we're doing. Now, it won't be a whole championship, it will be just me playing at one game, possibly just booting the ball around. There's three, three buttons, pass, chip, and tackle, and shoot. That's four buttons. I think one button might double up as two of them. It's an isometric view, this one. It's not up there with the latest FIFA games, but this argument can say this is when um, the FIFA games were maybe a bit more fun. A bit like that arcadey retro feel. So if you like your game's arcadey retro, we'll see how this one compares. And there's absolutely loads of FIFA games in there. Loads and loads and loads. Right, so let's have a look. There's Group A. We're in, oh, we've got Italy. Georgia, Poland, Moldova. Well, Georgia, Poland, and Moldova aren't as good as Italy, so hopefully we don't draw Italy in the first game. We've drawn, it, <laughs> we've drawn Italy in the first game. I mean, this this like, script writes itself, really. Right, so let's just see what the other games are going. It will simulate those. You don't have to watch them. Italy versus England. First go on it, and Italy are a really good team. Right, OK, well, I'll just try and hang in there. Maybe get a fluke goal, perhaps, and try and get used to the controls. So if you're trying to get used to the controls, it's probably best to do a friendly first of all. And... Um, play one of the, uh, well, control the top teams and play the worst team you can possibly find to get used to it. So I'm up against it here because the, the AI computer is going to be a lot better than me. Right, Italy and England. And also, as well as confuse the eyes, Italy playing in blue and white and England playing in white and blue. I mean, that's doing my racing straight away. Right, OK. Now, when I reviewed uh, another FIFA game, the... Um, the render, like the render to YouTube, although it looked good my end, couldn't really handle the um, the pitch. It got a bit blurry. So apologies if that sort of like happens here as well. It's how YouTube do it. I don't know if the other games been okay. It's just this, this level of grass. It doesn't like it. So hopefully you can see how this thing is playing. It will be uploaded in 1080p. Whether that makes a difference, I don't know. Right, okay. Oh, good shot by us. Let's try and get the hang of this. So first blood to us. Come on, England. I'm kicking down. Italy are kicking uh, uh, up. They're doing a bit of passing. They're doing a bit of passing. Boot it. Boot it or clearance or shoot. Now, I should try and get my passing in play. I think the length of time you hold down the button before you release it indicates the power that you do. So if you're good at this, well, if you're good at this, you can do chips and stuff. I'm not very good at tackling. Ooh, oh, no. Off the rebound and Italy has scored. And there's their celebration. Oh, I think that soundbite was imminent on the first game as well. Well done, them, he said begrudgingly. Oh, man, so he plays pretty similar to the first game. I think there's a few extra touches, a few whistles there. So if you was waiting for the World Cup to happen, you probably would have liked playing this one. Um, you know, it's, it's smooth. It's good fun, actually. I'd like to be a lot better than, it, than I am. I do get the feeling I want to put a bit more practice in this one to get the most out of it, but uh, I probably won't because there's so many football games. So back in 1998, already at time of recording, that's 22 years ago. Really? Really was it that long? There we go. Time accelerates as you get older, you'll, you'll find that. 
Seems like the other day I was 18, and I'm certainly not 18 now. But um, when I was at school for, I think, five years in the senior school, that seemed to go on forever. But now 20 years can go past in the blink of an eye. Maybe we've got a, there's a time machine or something like that. That's why it's always good. Look at the crowd going mad. Good animation there. That's why it's always good to look at these uh, games to see if time's gone by and um, get your know, retro goggles on. Hooray! Gaming has come a long way. Ooh! Gaming has come a long way. My favourite um, football games, I think, um, would have to be on the Amiga because that's the main system I had growing up. I had the Spectrum first of all. When I was like coming of age, it was the Amiga. And it was kickoff to and sensible world of soccer. So everyone's going to struggle against that in my mind. Although this is this is much more advanced than those two. But those two I thought was good fun. I, I just um, I grew up in an age where I just like the top down. Oh, I just like the top down stuff. Come on, Nick. I thought it was going to be an equaliser. I just like the top down um, play. Now you can't see much of the uh, pitch here. It might be an option to pull pull away. I think if I was just white against red or some clear different colours, I might be getting a bit better out of this. But I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get to the play. So I get the feeling I could get quite good at this because Italy are one of the best teams. And although I'm, I'm one nil down, I'm holding my oh god, I'm holding my own. <laughs> See, what was I talking about? I was holding my own, and now we're two nil down. Well, I'll let Italy off because I like Italian food: lasagna, carbonara, pizza. It's all good. Italian wine. Italian makes some great food. Good stuff. If you are an Italian company and want the channel, want to sponsor the channel, then send lots of grub here, and I'd be happy to um, sponsor you or or a big uh, van load of money and spaghetti. That'd be good. That'll keep me going. Um, if you haven't already and you um, you're new to the channel and you want to see some other Mega Drive games, then look at the Mega Drive uh, playlist. Uh, they're all that well, not all in there, but we'll work through. And there's less Mega Drive games than there are Amiga and Spectrum, so it's realistic that at some point we might cover absolutely all of them. I'm not saying definite, but there's um, obviously a chance there. Um, please consider looking at those and uh, yeah, subscribe. It all helps for the figures. Oh, they're going to get a third goal now, aren't they? Good save. Else the re oh, good clearance there. We almost went 3 0 down. Half's going to last four minutes each way. The channels or the videos, or both of them, are not all about expert gameplay, which is having a bit of fun. You're around a friend's house watching them thinking he's rubbish, uh, and, <laughs> and then wanting, wanting a go on it yourself to see how you would have got on your first and second go. And would there have been enough there for you to be disappointed? Or you've done a foul there. Would you be enough to be to be disappointed, or would you have been okay? Stuart Pierce does it again. I, I would have liked this game, um, to be fair. I'm always a sucker for football games. Prefer kickoff to a sensible world of soccer, as I say, but uh, this this would have been a fine out as well. There, there's some disastrous football games, most notably on the ZX Spectrum, which couldn't, really couldn't um, handle it. But it's all to do with nostalgia. You would have got more back in the day, and we've clobbered another fella. Is that Stuart Pearce again? He might get a red card. Oh, that was a replay. That was a replay. A bit like Alan Partridge then. And again. No, it's a replay, Alan. Oh, where is the ball? Oh, three goals. We're taking a tonk in here. So it's only the first half. We're on target to lose 6-0. England have never looked so bad under my management. Anyway. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, see. We'll, we'll, we'll do a second half comeback. What do you think? And win four plays, 4-3. Four, That'd be good. This is the road to the World Cup. But uh, in the group, Moldo Poland aren't, aren't too shabby as they as a team. Come on, England, come on, England. I've got no cheats for this game. So if you don't score enough goals, you will go home in shame. I think we will do. Red. Anyway, why aren't we in change colours? England should be in red in this game. Half-time, 3-0. The pundits are going mad saying, sack the manager. England aren't doing it very well. You change your controller, change your strategy. We won't do that. Why mix with a, with a great strategy formation? You can do substitutions. Right, now we're gonna get it we're gonna get it back now, we're gonna get it back. Uh, it's another one of those games that once you get into it, if you wanna do the whole league, because there are save points in this, but you who's gonna do that? Oh, come on, England! Ooh, kicking up this time. But who's gonna do save points? As soon as you load this up, you're gonna to be fair, you're gonna play the whole championship in one go, aren't you? So whole days, whole weekends would have been shriveled up in this when you should have been doing your school homework. Oh come on! Oh yes! 3-1, the comeback, the comeback has started. Hooray! There's a goal, right? 3-1. Might have been a fluke. Who scored that goal? Do we find out? Might not tell us. Don't know. Anyway, we scored a goal. 30 seconds. 
Three and a half minutes to get this back. Oops. Oh, no, we don't want to go down to ten men. That's not what we want to do. Teddy Sheringham. So Stuart Pearce and Teddy Sheringham, both on yellow cards for chopping their fellas down. Well, if it gets us through, I don't know. So the newspapers might might not, um, as us celebrating their replay, the um, newspapers might um, not cut into me too badly then, if I can make this respectable. Respectable, bum bum bum, Mel and Kim. That's the song. Come on, come on. Maybe we should have had a drenched pitch. Whoops, that's not good. So pass it about a bit. Find where the, I think that's what you need to do. You need to find it, pass it about a bit more than I'm doing. Try and find the space, but I tend to be playing a long ball at the moment. Right, we're going forward. It's got tackled. Pass it to that guy there. Oh, we've got a block in. And they've tackled it. Right. I need to improve my tackling. So the skills to be um, um, developed here. But I think it's one of those games as well, is once you've learned how to score a, a goal, you just try and keep repeating that from different angles. You know areas of the pitch where you shoot from where you're guaranteed a goal. Oh, good save. Stopped it being 4-1. Stopped it being 4-1. The crowd are going crazy like a set of nincompoops. And th so they should. The World Cup's at stake and a big trip to France. Right, come on. France had a great uh, France had a great team then, didn't they? Thierry Henry, Patrick Vieira. I don't think Eric Cantona was in the team. I don't think Ginola was in the team uh, either. But they had some great players. I think they all played for Arsenal, didn't they? Come on, let's get the second goal. The comeback is here. Shoot. Shoot. In. Oh, he saved it. It wasn't a very good shot, actually. I should have held the fire button a bit too um, um, long there. If I was playing this for all day, I'm confident I'll be able to qualify in this. I am. I'm just gradually getting it. Gradually getting it. But it's hectic, there's enough variety there, it's not always the same gameplay. Oh, they've got it, this looks bad. Oh, it's those, ooh, it's those rebounds where you tend to have the most chance of getting a goal. Good chance! Oh, he's... Bloke got a foot in, the defender got a foot in right at the, um, right at the last point. It's quite exciting this game, there's a bit of drama there. In two player against a human uh, uh, opponent, you can imagine this getting quite hectic. Good chip forward, take it! What's that, a penalty? Please be a penalty to us. Oh, it's a foul by David Big Boy Beckham. Oh, David Beckham chopped someone down. Didn't he get a red card in this World Cup? Or this ro well, the actual World Cup, not the road to it, perhaps. I think this is the one where England was almost not going to qualify. And then we got a last-minute um, free kick, and David Beckham stuck it in against Greece, and we just qualified by the skin of our teeth. Other than that, we would have been out. David Beckham was a free kick specialist, wasn't he? And it got us out of a lot of trouble, England. Well, it looks like he might have to get us out of trouble again if we were to ever play this all the way through. What was the score against Italy initially? Did England lose this game anyway? I might not be doing any worse, but it's still 3-1. Don't say that, Nick, then it'd be 4-1. Two minutes left of gameplay. No streakers on this pitch. The referee won't follow you, trying to give you a, 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 a yellow card. You trying to outrun them like the first game. Get the foot in. Seems to be more. It seems to be. Oh, seems to be more even matched this second half. Who's that in the crowd? Don't know. If you're in the crowd, then comment below. What do you think of the gameplay? You probably think this is the unusual game you've you played a match. It's it's madness, end to end. Crossing it full header. Oh, oh, that was right on the line there. Clearance off the line. That was almost three two. Almost three two. Oh, they're on a run, they're on a break, they're on a breakaway. Boot it, big boy. He does, and it's off to there. Just fail to get it. Shooting from there is a bit ambitious, but maybe it was Beckham again. I've only got about a minute six plus of uh, left here to try and get this back, if that clock's accurate. What a game. What a game. I'm interested in seeing all the uh, the other FIFA games. So there was a lot in the middle drive. Oh, the crossbar. Or did the goalkeeper tip that? Time added on now. We're into injury time. Is that it? Oh, it's full time. Well, we lost 3-1, but I got better in the second half. So, uh, you know, as a newbie, you can get back into this. I hope you like to have a look at that one. I was, I was quite impressed, actually. There's some skills to be learned, and as a football game, it does really well. So, that was FIFA 98, Road to the World Cup on the Mega Drive there by EA in 1997. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.